And welcome once again to the 10-Minute Life Coach. This podcast is a 10-minute podcast, basically about 10 minutes, where we offer a quick and easy, simple 10-minute lesson, something to talk about, something to think about, and something that has some sort of actionable item that you can get to work with. And then we go away. We've actually cut out a lot of the fat and just this all about the podcast, all about the knowledge these days. For more information about what's going on with the podcast and other things around the whole 10 Minute Life Coach brand, check out the website 10minutelifecoach.com. Now, today uh, I'm going to recap something that I saw in real time yesterday, but in time that we take these things, it's probably about three weeks out before it'll actually be published. And this was a, uh, a uh, online stream, a Facebook live stream, to be honest, that just sort of popped up that I got into that I watched dealing with mental illness and specifically mental illness in the black community and breaking it down even more, focusing on black men and mental illness. Now, a very prominent uh, guy you've seen on TV, a psychologist who's they basically is one of the big talking heads when they bring him on the news on dealing with issues of mental health a lot of times during shootings and things like that uh, was a part of this discussion and also in the discussion was a person uh, who had uh, a black man an entertainer who had dealt with serious bouts of depression for most of his life the moderator for the discussion was a black lady journalist and uh, one thing that was said by the psychologist something that is was the way he said it and of course presented in the discussion was one of the things that we, I'm a black person, so I'll say that we don't talk about in the community about mental health. Number one, the black community really doesn't deal with mental health very well. And number two, when you deal with it or people who are dealing with it, that person, that person dealing with depression, that person dealing with issues, that person who is trying to uh, do their best to survive through the day where everything seems like crashing down on them, is not necessarily a great person to hang around with uh, because depressed people are depressed. And as they are depressed, they tend to depress people around them. They are not bundles of joy to deal with. Dealing with people who is who are, uh, you know, weighing options and looking at suicide as a viable option is not exactly the kind of person you want to go hang out and watch a game with in that moment because they're a bit needy, actually more than a bit needy. It seems that people who are in need in general, people who need any type of assistance, are usually not exactly the greatest people you want to um, to gather with, the people you really want to hang around with. And that's the problem on the flip side of trying to help out, trying to be a friend and trying to be a supportive partner, trying to just be a general good human being. The people who need your help often will refuse your help because they will not want to receive help the people who you're trying to help often will not be the most receptive receptive in helping issues because it's hard to deal with and what they are working through and the people who are deep deep into trouble who may be trying to claw their way out are really not exactly dealing with happy thoughts and happy issues and so they're not exactly the happiest people to have around at that time these are situations where you start to look at these people as air quotes these people and you just don't want to have to deal with it you feel like it's not worth your time not worth your effort and why are you putting up all this goodwill and putting up this good effort and this good energy when all they're doing is bringing you down you don't need people brought down so it's better to just disengage and be on your own with good spirits than try to bring up and raise other spirits in the process that's obviously uh, a, a route you can go but not necessarily the best route for what's going on there are people in your life that need you right now really really do need you and they do appreciate the things that you're doing for them and some will appreciate them better once they get past this thing that they have to deal with at the moment but in the moment in the scary part of the moment you have to uh, recognize that they aren't necessarily in the right state of mind. They're probably in a very bad state and having issues just dealing with the realities themselves, let alone trying to think of a better reality that is there. But what can you do about yourself to shield yourself from uh, a lot of the backlash, a lot of the pain and anguish of dealing with people, and sometimes the fact that their depression is a great trigger for bringing you down if you have issues in the same general vein? Well, 
the first thing you can do is ask for help. Just like you're helping this person deal with their issues, you have to get help in helping that person or at least keeping you grounded in doing this. If someone is falling off a cliff, and use a classic movie example, and you are there to reach down and try to grab them, and there are other people nearby, you're going to get those other people to hold on to you, to support you, so that you can reach down and grab the other person. You're looking for people to give you full support, give you uh, the background, give you the tools you need to keep yourself sane while you're working to help other people get to a point where they want to get back to some sort of sanity. That's the rule number one. Number two, this is the harsher part of that, is that you have to realize that everyone cannot be saved and everyone does not want to be saved. You'll probably have to use that support system as well to get you through that backlash if someone is refusing to get the help or they've asked for help, you've offered, and then they just don't, they aren't receptive to it. At some point, you are allowed to disengage. There are you know, thoughts that if you are a parent, you can never give up on your kid. If you are a kid, you shouldn't give up on your parents. If you have a dear friend that you've known forever that's going through this, this thing and they just can't shake it and they're bringing everyone else down with them, at some point, you cannot let them take you down. They may need to fall a little bit further before they are ready to accept the real help to do it. They may not be able to ever take on the challenge of making things better. And that is a very sad reality in some cases. But if it looks that way, then you really must find a way to disengage and let them handle it, even if they're not handling it. Or let someone else who is better qualified, better quantified, better situation handle the main details of what's going on and you just support them. If you're not a grief counselor, you should not necessarily be there for the grief counseling. But you can get someone there to give them a ride to the counselor. You can uh, go through the exercises that the counselor gives to help them get through things. And you can just be there for support. You don't necessarily have to do all the hard, heavy lifting. You just have to be there for support. So it's very troubling that people that are really going through lots of big issues are people that are really hard to be around because of that but it's also very important to know that people with those big issues would rather not be in such a predicament which is one of the reasons why they're really very reluctant to ask for help in the first place they know they are a burden they know they are a pain they know that they are getting on everybody's nerves as they work through whatever they're working through so if they ask for help or if they accept what little help you offer up be prepared to deal with some of those issues. Be prepared to just not have a very happy person in your life that you're helping work through their things. Have some patience. Get some support to help you get through it. And if they turn out to throw backlash at you, they turn out to uh, attack you in return, and they turn out to just not really want the help or not accept it or just aren't quite ready to work the work, then back away. Let them get ready. Or if they have to fall, know that it's not your fault of their fall. And that's this edition for the 10 Minute Life Coach. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. For more information about all the things we have going on for the 10 Minute Life Coach, this uh, episode and others past and some to come, stop by the website 10minutelifecoach.com where you can see links to subscribe via whatever uh, situation you're into. If you're on iTunes, on Stitcher, on Blueberry, on Spreaker, and just plain old RSS feed, or if you'd like to get it in your mailbox, we'll send you a link to each week's different podcast by signing up for the newsletter there at the website. And we're working on getting our YouTube channel back up so we can have these on video or more or less on YouTube. It's really just a picture and the audio but we'll have it on youtube so that's readily available for those who search on things online that way youtube oddly enough the largest search engine of the internet and a lot of people listen to just straight music based off of youtube so that's something that we're working to expand as well if you'd like to contact me and see what i have going on my main website is j cleveland like the city p-a-y-n-e dot net that is j cleveland dot net and you can email me anytime you feel like it to info at jclevenpain.net. Find out about all the other projects and listings going on that I've got going through 
at the main website and email if you have any other questions. Thank you once again for being a part of this this whole thing. We are happy to say we are pulling at least 200 to 225 uh, the amount of the downloads every single week as a, as the podcast is released and of course more as they are archived and, and found in the back end. So we thank all of you for listening in and sending comments and reviews. Send them wherever you listen to. If you don't care, just tell us what you think, good, bad, or whatever. We will do our best to keep it going and uh, do it a better job at it in the future. In the meantime, uh, thank you so much again for just tuning in for the podcast. And we'll be back next week for another edition of the 10-Minute Life Coach.